What's up everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel, I'm your host Dexter Rathalus and today we'll be looking at the Wicked Cool Toys Spartan Collection Spartan Mark 7. This is from the Halo series, that's right, we're going to be looking at this, you will know, see how it is in terms of paint detail, articulation, scale, and accessories. I got this when I also picked up Master Chief. Unfortunately DSTAR Toys can't carry this, or at least not now. Uh, but you can get this at, I believe, Target or Walmart here in the United States. I believe even GameStop might be picking it up, so that's pretty cool. So go ahead and finish your pre-order at GameStop. I believe that they are allowing pre-orders for it. So enough of me talking. Let's go to Top Hand. Let's see how this is. Let's jump in paint and detail, and then afterwards we're going to go articulation, scale, and accessories. We're going to see how this guy is. So just like the old Master Chief, looks like we're just going to have to release the tape, which is up here. Now everyone loved Master Chief, I'm pretty sure this one will be just as good, it looks pretty good, but I do have something to say again about the paint. Uh, let's see here, so of course I have my nippers right here, we're going to unleash this guy from his plastic prison. Let's see if we can get his shins right here, and that is that. <clears throat> All right, now Spartan Mark 7 Front cam, let's go. Let's see how he is. Let's see So far so good just like Master Chief here. We have the really really worn out uh, Spartan armor right here, and let's look at all the wear and tear so it looks like they Added some silver paint here in the chest which contrasts with the red, which looks really good. I mean, this guy should look uh, war-torn, as he should. Uh, but it looks like they overdid it just a tad, at least from my taste. Now, again, the one on the box doesn't look like he's that war-torn, right? There doesn't look, that doesn't look like there's a lot of battle damage and whatnot. So it looks like on the actual figure, they decided to add even more. Honestly, I think they went a little bit too far. Uh, I would have preferred a cleaner chest, not as much, um, but yeah, th I think that's my only issue with this figure, is that they added a little bit too much battle damage on it, but besides that, in terms of design, and once again, that visor looks really, really sharp. Look at the beautiful reflective paint on that one. I have to say, this figure does look good in terms of design, and the way he looks, looks just like the Mark VII, so I have to say, this looks absolutely fantastic. Wow, 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 let's, keep, let's give this a quick look right here. I have to say, this is a fantastic toy, considering that you're only paying about, if you can find them in the wild, about 20 US dollars. That's it. That's all you got to pay for a, for a really nice looking toy like this. Um, my complaints, honestly, are very small com in comparison to what he really is. And this looks really, really solid. Really like the way this looks. So that's it when it comes to paint detail. Let's see how tall he is. Let's see if you can get this guy to stand up nice and straight. And let's look at articulation and scale. This guy's standing about seven inches. We've got to compare it with the Wicked Cool Toys. Master Chief, Master Chief should be much taller. and No, not much taller. I'd have to say a hair taller. And indeed, he is indeed a hair taller. So let's see how he compares with the Thousand Toys Master Chief, which is one of my favorite Master Chief figures. And they are about the same size. And let's say Sora from Bring Arts right here jumped into the world of Halo. That's how he compares with that, and of course, we have, let's move Master Chief aside there, uh, Marvel Legends, Captain America, Worthy Cap right there, and so those are those two standing together like so. So, let's see how he is in terms of articulation. He should have the same as Master Chief. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have a ankle swivel up and down here at the ankle as well. Double jointed knee right there. We have a ball joint here at the crotch as well as a thigh swivel as well. He moves a little bit better than Master Chief in terms of the waist swivel. I believe my Master Chief from Wicked Cool Toys was extremely tight to the point where it doesn't even move that much. This one moves a lot better, but not a full rotation. Uh, we do have another one up here. Do we have another one up here? Let's see. Let's. If it is, mine is really tight. It looks. I thought I had one on the upper part of the abdomen, but mine does not move that well. He does have butterfly joints at the shoulders though, which is really cool. And don't forget a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, 
and a ball and peg here at the wrist and one ball joint here at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation let's play with this guy let's go side kick front kick flying knee let's see if you can do a jump kick like bruce lee you got a sure you can right here huh and of course we have the hurricane kick right here and last but not least we gotta always end it with a superhero landing can he do the superhero landing and because he doesn't do the ab crunch that well this is the best as i can get it and that doesn't look good but you know what most of the time he's just going to be standing up anyway getting ready to fight and finish the fight if you know what i mean but how can you finish the fight unless you have the proper accessories which we are segueing into let's go to the top cam this is the accessories of course we get the shotgun we get a blaster of some sort here I honestly forgot, I believe this is the Disruptor, sorry. It's the Bulldog and the Disruptor, and of course we get extra hands. Before we go, do I have, please tell me that I don't have, the... okay, good. Do I, do I, my Master Chief did not come with opposing hands. This one does, thank goodness, quality control is actually done on this. So it looks like these are actually locked down, so we got to take out our nipper to unleash the bulldog and the disruptor let's look at the shotgun here let's go to the front cam so again we're dealing with a softer plastic which is super bending but it does look like it has all the details that you need to get the bulldog out of the way so there you have it this does not move back and forth unfortunately so it's just a non-moving gun right there last let's look at his disruptor right here and they have it right there just a plain silver uh, maybe not really plain so it looks like there's two tone right here it looks like we got a, a really like uh what you, what's the word i'm looking for like a whitish silver to a darker silver right there or gray there you go it's more gray than it is silver to me so let's outfit this guy just like the other master chief or um sorry as master chief he has a pad uh, so let's look here in the back right here this one has a peg just like master chief so we're going to put the bulldog right there so that's how it looks like like that and of course we got to put the disruptor like so as well in the back right there and there you have it uh this one i think yeah this one is not meant to be there just like master chief i'm assuming yep just as i thought this one actually goes to the side right here we're gonna flip that over and there you have it so we can go do something like this let's see if we can plug that in or maybe we did it wrong, so let's do it like that. Yeah, okay, there, I did it better. Sorry about that. Even though this is not how you properly holster this, it should be on the other leg, but we're just giving this a try. Wow, that is a really tight fit for me. That one is not even going to stick that well because it seems that I have to spread this one out just a little. So let's do a little mod on the fly right now. We're just going to increase the size of that socket real quick. It's burning it out. Oof, there you go. So, nope, still not happening. <clears throat> Everyone, please stand by. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, my gosh. All right, so I managed to get it in. This was a little bit difficult. So what I did here, I have a set of Allen wrenches here and I plugged the, um, one of the Allen wrenches into the hole here. Not sure what the size of this, but you know, you can just get any Allen wrench set. And since this is less bendy plastic, I just put it in there, moved it left and right in circles and whatnot to extend that hole and then plugged it in. So. I mean, is this a quality control issue? Honestly, this is an easy fix for me. So there you go, it fits perfectly. Um, so it's not really that big of a deal, honestly, if you know what you're doing. So let's plug this back in. Now let's see how he looks when he's holding his guns here. So there you have it. Ooh, that looks really cool right there. Yeah, really, really cool. And let's get, let's see if he can get the bulldog to shoot properly so of course you're going to hold it like this with the front grip like so and there you have it so there you go and you know what just because let's take master chief out here and let's see how he looks with the bulldog so if you want to get more of the weapons looks like you're going to have to get all of the figures there you have it that's how master chief looks with the bulldog 
And because we got to swap some weapons here, I'm going to put the pistol here on the Mark 7. So there you have it. So that's it in terms of accessories. Let's come with the conclusion of this figure of the Mark 7. So besides the paint, I think the negative here is, yeah, they went a little bit too far in terms of the wear and tear. But from a distance, like I said, you honestly can't tell. But looking up real close, you'll notice that they really put a lot of it in there. Considering that the production photos doesn't really have that. But I have to say, that is pretty much the only negative I have. Um, I guess you could count that some of the weapons didn't fit properly into the thigh holster right here. We're going to look at this other side. Um, but you know what? That was an easy fix for me. And it should be a very simple fix for you once uh, once you learn how to do it. Is just to make sure the hole on the gun is spread out just a little bit. And there you go. It is indeed a much better fit. It is actually a perfect fit in my opinion. Um, that's not really a negative. I mean, if you can fix it, it works. No big deal positives on this oh man look at this it looks really cool for 20 bucks you get a really cool looking you could say wicked cool looking because it's a wicked cool toy <laughs> anyway spartan mark 7 it looks really really good i have to say i love it especially with the reflective visor and everything like that it comes with weapons it comes with extra hands it's just a really solid deal for a really nice looking figure so therefore if you can find it hopefully I think this guy is even going for about 40 bucks on eBay. Someone correct me down in the comments down below. If you can find it, I say it is definitely worth it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always let me know when I post new videos. And see you guys next time.